Amanda, you know what's sitting behind me? You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to get in that Jeep and I'm going to pull that house and go away. Well, that look at that. Is that not a gnarly looking trailer that for looks that home? Super it looks cool. like it's off grid, like a off road it does. house, don't it? It really does. It's all blacked out. The tires are blacked out and this Jeep's going to take it into the wild, wild yonder. The wild yonder. How big is that house? It's a 10 by 29. 10, 29. Isn't that I'm weird? Pretty sure. Not 30, it's 29. So it's 10 by I 29. Think so. This is the infamous Minnesota house. Yes. So I was looking, all my pictures on my phone, you know how they pop up? Mm -hmm. And it was August 30th. Last year? Of last year when no. that house was in Minnesota. So it just got back here yesterday. Uh, sun yeah, Sunday. Yeah. No, it didn't take a year. They've had it up there. We've been trying to get it down. We're trying to get haulers to get it. So it's been about probably two or three months we've been trying to get it home. That's true. Right? Mm -hmm. But uh, we've got to know the guys up there. Uh, they're kind of building tiny homes on their own now. We don't really have anything to do with them. Nothing that broke off. We just don't have the time in the, what do you call it, the, uh, what the, the, the workings of making yeah. it work and up too, there. The logistics is That's just what the I meant. Logistics. logistics. That's what off. I meant. So I couldn't yeah. come up with that word. Okay. But that's what we want. We we were at. We just and we said, hey, you guys, man, if you guys want to do that, just rock on. But we brought our home home, and we wanted to show you it is for sale. We're going to take a tour through it. So the title of this show, I'm sure, is going to be a 10 by 29, beautiful home for sale. Ready to go. And let's do it now. Right. This home can come like it is. You want to drive off with it, or mm -hmm. we can include it maybe in a mountain lot. That's true. That's right. true. I'm going to give you two prices. It looks so beautiful at the mountain. And I'm sure with YouTube, you just zzz to the very end. And find out the prize. I'm not going to give it at the end. I'm going to give it <laughs> somewhere in the middle. How's that? You don't know. You don't know when it's going to I'm not be. waiting to the end. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. And I'm not going to put them little cheater things in the bottom. Oh, we talked about this and then this and subjects. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I love it. Look at that water sticking out. Now that, I don't like that at all. What is that? That's the AC stuck out like something. That does, that looks. Don't you say that. Mm -mm. That's no bueno. That's no bueno. We're going to go to the next thing. Yeah, let's move on. All right. Let so us we've move got on. This beautiful picture window. Of course, is our white pine board and batten with, now this right here is cedar. Oh, it's this beautiful. is not white pine. This is actual cedar. This is some high dollar wood oh, that I paid kidding. for up in Minnesota to get this done. Yeah. All right. It's got some flashing between the two. It's built really nice. Uh, Barry, who overseen the building of this thing, him and I talked for hours and hours and hours and pictures and everything. Up in these dormers, you can see that they're cedar shakes. Yeah. Now, what I like about up there, if you look, there are no one by corners on each of those dormers. So they've made the corners with the shakes. They also made them straight across. They didn't stagger them. Mm -hmm. They are straight across. Yep. Some people like them staggered. Some people I've don't. I've never seen them all like that. It looks really pretty. Let me look at this side. Uh, it's more symmetrical. Well, it's beautiful. Yep. Okay. I don't like that brown vent right there. I like to paint it brown. Oh, yeah, you don't like the white vent. No, I mean, did I say the brown You said vent? brown, but now I'm going to tell you what I absolutely love. I love this type of window at yeah, a kitchen. It is. I that think is you need to have a huge You're kitchen right. window. I don't like one that raises up or nothing. I just, I like to look out. Right. Well, we built this for a gentleman, right? He was in the military. Yeah. And it was actually in Oregon. Yes. And it went kapoopoo. And so we come back and we built it here. And I, we did this floor plan. He loved mm -hmm. the floor plan. It was, it was yeah. really popular. So the guys in Minnesota, we thought, well, let's build it up there, right? Yeah. So as you guys can see, the cedar shakes and the dormers, it's got a um, air exchanger, mm -hmm. the vent. This is the shower. Uh, we had a small leak in the um, water heater. Yeah. We just took care of they that. I'll put the vent that. back together on it. Yep. So we wanted to do this video. We got to kind of get it going. <coughs> Got electrical me. plugs, massive trailer. This is a, Look at this. a overbuilt chunk. trailer. It's huge. Okay. My gosh. Yeah, everything on here is beefy. 29 feet long. So you've got three sizes of dormers. Mm -hmm. Six, eight, ten, and twelve, or two, six, eight, eight. We'll see. The other side, that's a six footer. We added that to it. That's a ten. Yeah, two sixes, an eight, and a ten. 
Yeah. Dormer's on here. Wow. And so it's kind of, it's almost like a two bedroom house mm -hmm. when you count the lofts and how, in my mind, how I was kind of seeing a family navigate in it. Yeah. So let me show you here. Wow, look at that. I think I really like the shakes. I like it both ways, but I really like it like that. Yeah, that makes it a little bit more fancy. Yeah, it actually know? does. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, it's a sickened stain. Mm -hmm. The trim has been, you know, Barry is real particular builder. He's a good builder. You can see all the joints are really nice and tight. Yeah. Everything's caulked. It's been stained. It's done. It's waterproofed. That cedar's beautiful. Beautiful home. Okay. Yeah. I another love electrical it. plug here on another side. You have a water spigot up here, frost free water spigot. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm ready to go inside. Let's do it. Come on. Help you? Okay. All right. So I guess let's start at one end and work our way around, yeah, right? Yeah, let me turn around here. Okay. Wow. So we. All right, so let me go in here. This is the living room. Now it's 10 foot wide. Now, this is a full blown living room. Now, in a tiny home, normally, like you guys know, you normally don't have a full living room. Right. So you've got this beautiful loft above us. This has got some wow. hand hewn rough sawn beams and trim. Oh, it looks good. So here you've got enough room for a full, like, what, are you, what a sectional, Amanda? Oh, yeah, you could do a sectional. Yeah, sure. I can feel the cool. It's so cool. And this is a mini yeah, split right here. So You've got your loft. Now, the loft, which I like, I did this for kids. So we added these dormers when we were in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And they put the railings up there. So that up there can be a full bedroom for some little guys. Look at that. Yeah. And oh, what wow. we did is we put a double dormer. The original one only had one dormer. We added two to this one, two egress windows up there. And the lights and i thought man it'd be a great spot for two little guys you know or, or one little person up there oh yeah for sure so it's eight by ten 80 square feet up there yeah, yeah. Oh, I enough like room that. if you had one child it'd be good to have a little closet a sure. bed you can pull a curtain across here whatever you like but yeah that's why we added the extra dorm i was thinking you know what because this home was going to go to Coeur d'Alene Idaho to yes. sell and we mm -hmm. were going to sell it there and i thought hey that'd be great to have a single mom or a couple, mm -hmm. one or two kids. It actually could be for two, you know, four people. I think this is, is it turn, is the power is it on? on? Yeah, let's turn some lights on. There we go. Was this on there? We saw the lights. There, there you they go. are. Yeah. Okay, great. So that was in our minds when we were thinking about, you know, designing this, mm -hmm. that we could have a child up here, a parent up there, mm -hmm. or two and two. All right. Okay. It also, now when you're doing that, when you design a home with two bedrooms, you've got to have room for them to congregate. Yes. Eating dinner, watching TV, hanging out. So this room is big enough for that right here. Now you're thinking, well, it can definitely get a sofa here. Oh yeah. Entertainment center, or even two sofas. One, one here. We could put a dining room table right here, Amanda. Hmm? Yep. And we could eat at the dining room That's table. True. It could be a fold up table or it could be a stationary table or something that can collapse and can give you more room. It could have a bench or anything. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you've wow. got a nice living room right there. Yeah. So now we go into the kitchen. Yes. We ordered these special black cabinets. Yes. Right? As you can see, they're dovetailed, put together just like the one we always use. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. This is a black, I thought it was appropriate. We actually got an inch yes. and a half thick countertop, yes. butcher block. Mm -hmm. It's already pre-finished. It's already done. This house is all done. It's this is done. Urethaned inside, stained outside. Beautiful farm style sink. Yes, big. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Gooseneck, and this oh, is that look big. look at this. Yeah, this is a balance over your, over your sink yeah, with your lights and some storage and this is that big window that you talked about Love it. so when you have a big window you lose your space for shelving mm -hmm. me personally of course you know i don't like any shelves i don't like anything but look we filled it full of cabinets so you've got room and there you could and that's a shelf right there to put nothing to put <laughs> i would load it up yeah yep Love it. Put my, I'm gonna put my shotgun right there. <laughs> Not a bad idea. All right, so you got nice shelf. Look at this countertop, inch and a half. Oh, Everything's no. nice. Man, look how old Barry Kerner, he just caulked Very it really nice. nice. Mm -hmm. Everything's done. It's done nice. It's Very beautiful. Yep. 
Small little cooktop down here with a range mm -hmm. hood, place for a microwave. I like how they just put the wood. Now Barry, he wanted to have some My fun with it. So he, he used the barn wood. He asked, he said, what if we use, I said, go ahead and use a live edge barn wood sure. that we had left on site. He put this on here. It matches perfect. It's Barry perfect. had never done that before. He built this uh, staircase. He'd never done because that before. Because they'd never done a tiny house before. This was the first time, right? Yeah, yep, yep. So let's see what we got here. You see, it just came in. Mm -hmm. So that's why everything is, oh yeah. Amanda, look at this. I forgot Randy. about this. Look. Boop. A huge Randy rack. Look at that, yes. man. Huge. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this one does. Oh, trash can. Trash. I forgot we did that. Well, just as I thought, trash. Trash. <laughs> and we got, what do we got here? Another trash. Another trash. Well, let's double trash it. Well, I reckon. We can do a recycling. <laughs> and then, what do we got here, Amanda? Another big pantry? I feel like this is Christmas. <laughs> let's see here. I mean, it's been so long, I can't remember what we were doing. Oh, oh for heaven's wow, sake. look, look inside there. Look at all that storage. Oh, okay, yeah, so we right. definitely have enough room oh, to keep food in here yeah. for a family, right? There's a nice size enough. family. Mm -hmm. Here is, I don't have my tape on me, but I believe this is about 30 inches. For a fridge. For a good size fridge. Nice fridge. You don't have a little bit, it's a full size mm -hmm. fridge you can put in Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Okay. Wow, so you've got ample storage, mm -hmm. full size fridge, yep. cooktop, Lots of cabinets. One, two, three, four, five lower base cabinets. And lots of counter space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's a 10-foot counter. Oh, it's it's long. Massive, deep farm style sink. Yep. Vanna. <laughs> I wanted to show you. Man, it's beautiful. I like it. Let's go Man, into the bathroom. Man, I wish this was parked at my house. Now, this is a barn door. We've still got tape on it. Yep. Mm-hmm. And look here. He put steel on this back side. Okay. Keep it from warping. Oh, little, nice. Just a little piece of steel right there. Okay. Here's your barn door. That's a big door. Very nice. Live edge here on the side. Nice. And Ooh. look, look how, look how even this line is. Yeah. See all that? This is a really Very nice, nice constructed home. Okay. Yeah. We've got live edge inside around the trim of this bathroom door. Oh, we got it. Where's the light? Let's flip it. Let's up. see. Oh yeah. All right. So in the bathroom. Stackable washer and dryer right here. Let me go right here. Okay, so you've got your stackable. Mm -hmm. This is why I think it's so great for a family because you've got a full-size washer and dryer. You're in the closet. Look at how big this closet is. So oh, yeah. we left it open. Some people like to put a dresser in here. Or some mm -hmm. people want an amoir. They want to put something in here. You can build shelves. You can put a coat rack or however you want to do it, or a clothes rack. And there's there. the uh, fuse box, too, right? That's your panel box, yep. And then you've got a 36 inch shower, half moon sink, toilet, tankless water heater, and oh, exhaust. Oh, yeah. Thing. Great big shower. Yeah. Mm hmm. So this bathroom, just, I'm going to walk around in it yeah. so you guys can see how much room. I mean, they got. Tons of room here. You've got your closet, your washer. Even with your washer and dryer, it's not going to come to right here. No. Look at the room that you have You've inside still got room. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the trim throughout is he's added accents of the live edge wood. Mm -hmm. He sanded it down, got some wormholes and yes. stuff. It's got a lot of. I like the wormholes. I think that's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks very nice. All right. And everything's polyurethane. Yep. It's finished inside, all done. Outside, stained, waterproof, caulked, ready for wear. Mm-hmm. Very nice. All right. Okay. So, so the that's next the bathroom, thing, big bathroom. Now we've shown you this loft. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's about an eight by ten loft. Yep. Right. I go. I say about because it's ten foot is the outside. So it's about nine four upstairs by eight feet. Okay. And then we'll go upstairs. Okay. Now we have. All the stairs are storage. None of the lift. None of these lift none of these up. Lift, yeah. But you have storage underneath each one as it goes up. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go upstairs, and that loft. Oh, it's is, got an air exchanger up there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So let me. I think this is three, six. So it's eight by ten. Okay. All right. Look, I'm going to do a sneak peek up here. Here's the railing, right there. Are you going up there? Yeah. Okay. It'll look like you're in jail. All right. So I'm going up. 
Now, I want to point out. Hold on, let me back up. All right. Okay. Okay, so what I want to point, up, point out is this loft could have been notched out and we could have took it into and lost that closet, right? Mm -hmm. And we could have lost head, um, the closet and pushed it into the bathroom. Right. Now we had either make this dormer come way out here. Yeah. And this was a design we did, like I said, it's been a while, been over a year. So the only drawback to these stairs, as you can see, as you go up, you lose headroom for navigating yes. this. All right. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go just like this and then I'm up. Yeah. Okay. I see. So that's it. That's the only drawback to these stairs. Yeah. Now, you're in a tiny house. Tiny house is not supposed to have a staircase that you run up and down like a normal home. So you're going to have little quirks. That's why they have ladders. They have ship ladders. They have just and stuff. you're going up there to sleep. Yeah. And yeah. relax. So this is just part of it. Now, yeah. up here, this beautiful loft. I think, well, just, I just want to add to that. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good exchange. I would have exchanged that for that. Yeah. I want that big closet. And I left it there. I yeah. left the big, huge I wanted closet. I that. Yeah. To me, tiny I homes are want. about mm -hmm. being quirky. They're mm -hmm. about being a little bit different about right. stuff. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got this. There's no handrail. You can put handrail. Some people put a, an actually grab bar here. Mm -hmm. Put one here. Just, just difference where you, you want to put it. Sure. Maybe even put something across here. Okay. Every, anything. But right now, we just left it like it is. Okay. Some people love it open like that. Mm -hmm. Now, upstairs, the floor is sanded and polyurethane, and it's white pine. And you guys know, in this type of home, we got about 43 inches up top. This is made for sleeping. It's not made for getting up here and walking around, of course, right? Because we do have a, a height restriction that we can build in. All right, so also the trim is all rough sawn, live edge, and accented, not everywhere. Like this window is trimmed out really nice. This is two egress windows on here. Mm -hmm. And then the, got the air exchanger that's back here. Where's that? We could run that cord over here. I think they're trying it out. And you got enough room to put a king size bed up here. So what I've learned is when you have a loft, the whole loft is taken up by the bed. Yeah. All right. So the bed takes up everything. I've always said you don't bring clothes up here. You don't. You always get dressed in the in the bathroom in the, bathroom, in the lower right. level. You don't want to be carrying anything up here, right? The only thing you ever want to do is change your sheets and clothes for your bed. Hey, you want to uh, do show a view of how it is across from there? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, just to show right, a right different point of guys. view. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna spin it around. Look way over there. Yep. Let me see that. So that's over in the other loft. I love they got that living room down there, Amanda. Yeah, that looks There's the very kitchen nice. and the farm style sink and the stairs and that other loft. So if you had a children's loft over here, I mean, you know, really, Amanda, that gives you some privacy. Mm-hmm. It does. With the kids at one end and this at yep. the other. I don't know why I keep saying this, but I remember we designed it around maybe a family getting we this, did. you know? So mm -hmm. Well, the person who originally was um buying it that was getting it. Yeah. It was, was kind of like, ah, like through their design. Got it? Yeah. But All I right. love it. I would love to have this house. And there's tons of plugs. Up, oh, my God. Just, hey, that. just up here, there's one, two, three, mm -hmm. four. <laughs> there's five receptacles oh up here. Oh, Lord. Just in the loft. It's loaded with plugs. I just love, you can get so many people in here. If they were to have... Get them a porch on the outside, and then they have a little party and stuff. Oh my God, there's so much room to move and well, I think put this all is the a food out. You know what? This would be a good. It's like a lodge. It's like a little yeah. lake lodge. It is a cabin because yes. you can pile a bunch of people in there. You can get people down there in the living room. You got them up there in the loft. Mm -hmm. You got them up here. You could probably sleep six, seven, eight people in every here. bit of it. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. So. Well, you know, would be with saying that, it'd be a great rental. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's it's kind of cool because you've it. got the staircase, you got some of the live edge, mm -hmm. you got all this wood, the black cabinets, the farm yep. style sink, the, the barn wood looking floor vinyl that you got. I love the flooring. How yeah. many windows? You got one, two, three, four windows in the living room, plus a picture window in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Up here I've got two. Up there we got two. Mm -hmm. We got one in the bathroom. And it looks so pretty on the outside of having those dormers. It looks like an actual, actual home. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. well, you got four dormers, mm -hmm. two, six, eight, and ten. Good lord. And they've got cedar shakes on them. Two, right? six, eight, and ten. And now remember the side, the siding, Amanda, is cedar. It's cedar lap it siding. Is. And that was more expensive. Yeah. Uh, oh, I remember when we got the cedar, you never buy cedar because it's like three times as much as white pine. Yes. And we bought it in Minnesota. 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 <laughs> there so, you have it. How much? How much, Randy? I thought you weren't going to wait to the end. You're oh such a God. liar. Well, I forgot. Hey, well, it's not the end I yet. For, I forgot I was going to trick I, everybody. I, I, I forgot we had to give it a price. <laughs> I want this on the mountain. This needs to go on the mountain. We need to put this on the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. It would look gorgeous All right. up there. So let me run this by you yeah. guys. We got a house, our Birmingham. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's 10 by 34. It is. It's $99,800. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? True. What if we sell this one, mm -hmm. right? Right. For that price on the mountain. On the mountain. I think that's a great deal. Mountain lot included, mm -hmm. ready to go for $99,000. 100000 $100, Yep. $100,000. You got it. I mean, it's clean cut. This is a mountain Home. This is a mountain home. You got this big, massive yeah. window that would yeah. look out over the views of the mountain yeah. up there and the woods and the escape. And you know what? I'll pick out the lot that it goes I was on. Go I'm so glad you just said that. I was about to say, and Randy will pick the lot because I got the lot. You, you, don't, you want him picking the lot. Yes. Absolutely. So I got the lot, 100 uh, grand, uh, you guys. You want this house? Oh. Let's do it. Hey, do they still have Southern Living Magazine? If they do, I'm going to call them and say, hey, listen, you're going to come up here and you're going to. You pick the lot, yep. and I'll set up the show, the photo shoot. Let's do it. I'm gonna do it. Yep. This this house, if you decorated this, oh, oh, can yeah. you imagine a big deck out here yeah. with the roof over it, mm -hmm. overlooking, yeah. and a hot tub? <laughs> I'm okay, gonna... we're back in the Airbnb business. Never, never mind. We're gonna keep it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All so, right. And if you want the house alone, and you just want to truck it across the United States and put it somewhere. Hey, what if we let it go for a cool $79.9? I think that would be a good price. There you go. If you come to pick it up. What a deal. You know what they wanted for this house up Great there? house. Yeah. They were not going to let it go for less than hundred grand. I know. It's what Minnesota. they said. Yeah. But Minnesota people got a lot of money. Yeah. Well, do they? Yeah. Down, down here in Tennessee, we don't have a little money. <laughs> I give everything away. We well, give I everything away. Give it away. Okay. Yep. There you go. So if you were to take it, $79.9. And if it's you need the mountain lot, hundred thousand. Okay. Ninety nine nine. Ninety nine nine. Okay. Yep. All right. Everybody. All right. Like usual, we okay. give everything away around here. I think it's a good deal. It gives you enough Great to think house. about and see what you want to do with it. You know it. what I love about this house? It's not all cut up. No. It is not restricting in here at all. Even when you put the furniture, it's yeah. not going to be a restricting home. The Look how wide I, this is, Amanda. Look I'm how wide. I put some type of a rail for myself up there. But oh, of that, course. Of yeah. Course, but that's a deal given. That. But look at the width on this thing. Oh, Remember, you got this pull-out pantry, yes. farm-style oh, sink, storage all over. Look at these church chairs. You know what I hear somebody oh. saying? Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this for something else. Uh-uh. You want? I promise you. The trash that I put and out today. Put that in here. Storage underneath hey, here. You know still. what? It's trash. Randy and Amanda. <laughs> trash. This is just an empty one right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Where you put your purse in there or something. Put my purse. And then look at this. <laughs> I know. All the shelves. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Well, you got it. Let's see it. I didn't wait till the end, but. <laughs> That's okay. Remember the outside. It's got board and batten, mm -hmm. lap cedar siding cedar. with cedar shakes in four dormers, four egress windows, all this natural light in here. Listen, you guys could go on yeah. any competitor's website yes. and never find a house mm -mm. built like this for the price we're asking. No. All right. So there you go. I don't know how we're staying in business, but <laughs> thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's something that you guys can share with your loved ones and friends and everybody to help us spread the word about yeah. the company that we're in. All right. But so, this, won't, this won't last long. So nope. if you're interested, you better let us know. Info at IncredibleTinyHomes.com. Yep. You can call our office 423-438-0111. And everything is on the website. We're going to get pictures of this to Sam to put on the website. We'll He can put this video, link it on to the website. He will. Yeah. Um, 
But it won't last Get it long. gone. I know. All right. Remember, everybody, our credit box is $20,000 off-grid mm -hmm. for $25,000. Yep. And a complete off-grid, which I haven't talked about yet, for $30,000. Yeah. Water power, sewer, compost, toilet, gas, thankless water heater, water catchment, all that for $30,000. We'll do another video on that. Stay tuned. Go to our website and go to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye. Bye.